Hey guys, welcome to Team Rising Tide. You are seeing this because you have decided to be a coach on our team or a coach with one of my amazing coaches. So welcome either way and we're super excited to have you. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about doing your coming out post. And this can be super scary, trust me, I was beyond scared for a really, really, really long time. And that's probably one of the big reasons I delayed coaching and now coaching for almost five years, actually more than five years, I can say that it shouldn't have been the concern that I had because the response that I got was just so um, like loving, caring, supporting, and there's more amazing people out there than you think. So first, let's talk a little bit about a coming out post. The reason why it's really important to do a coming out post is because when you decide to be a coach, no one knows you're a coach. The only way they're gonna know is by doing a post and sharing that so that they know they can come to you if they're looking for that support. When you do this coming out post, quite often we have a lot of like random do's and don'ts, things you might wanna consider doing and some things you really don't wanna consider doing. Um, I did everything wrong, so take it from me, what doesn't work and what does. Um, and some of those don'ts are things like, don't use stockpile pictures, don't use like the picture of your Shakeology bag, or don't use your Shakeology cup in front of your face and say, join me. Like, no one cares about that. That doesn't, that doesn't pull at people and make people like feel like they want that. They just look at it and say, oh, it's super salesy and like, I'll just keep passing that, passing the scroll, you know, and you want to have people stop to actually read and be engaged with whatever the story is that you're sharing. You don't want to share ever about pricing in your posts. Don't, um, it's just gimmicky, it's salesy, um, and it just turns people off. And those are the things that you'll have in conversations with people behind the scenes as you're getting to know what they need and how you can help them because there's a lot of different paths for what people might need. So pricing could be very different. Um, you don't want to worry in general, um, you know, a lot of people when they first start, if you're a brand new coach and you're brand new to doing these programs, you might be really nervous to actually coach because you're not at your goal weight or you don't have these amazing before and after pictures. So you just don't know what to share. And the best coaches I will say are people that are starting from the get go and sharing their journey and being authentic and real because that's relatable. That's what you would want to be a part of your team and that's what other people would want to go to because they know that they can go to you to get that support because you are just like them. They don't need picture perfect. They just want honesty and realness, if that makes sense. So some of the do's are, you know, share some of the pictures that some people might use is if you do have a before and after picture, awesome. Those are really, really great. And I highly recommend you keep an ongoing journey of like every program you do because transformations of showing yourself are really important, not just other people all the time. Um, so if you have a transformation picture, awesome. If you don't, it could be a picture of you. It could be a picture of you and your family um, because maybe the reasoning why you are actually deciding to coach is to be able to reduce your um, work hours, to be a more present mom. Maybe it's because you don't have a financial source because you are a stay-at-home parent and you're looking for that financial stability for your family or to pay for your kid's ballet class or pay for your kid's football classes or whatever it might be. It could be a picture of you after like an amazing workout and just say like, you can see it all over your face, the endorphins of you just being on cloud nine and you wanna be able to share with them why. So I always will say to people in general, you just, you share publicly, but people want to know why you are coaching. Why did you make this decision? Um, and some of those things could be, you were a tired, exhausted parent and you needed something for yourself to gain control over. It could be that you were needing something, like I said, financially to support you and your family while being home because you didn't have the means to be able to work and be a parent. It could be that you're just trying to have, you know, pay off credit card bills. It could be that you're paying off, you know, um, college debt. It could be as simple as these programs have made you feel 
the best you've ever felt, and you've been a part of this community that has made you feel welcomed, loving, and a place that you want to just show up to every day. And because you love that so much, you can't help but want to pay that forward for everyone else to be able to have that. There's a lot of different reasons for why people decide the coach, and there's no right or wrong. And sometimes it's physical, sometimes it's mental, and sometimes it's financial. And none of them are wrong, and they will speak to people. There's a lot of those people out there, and all those areas that are looking for it to be you know looking for something like that you want to be relatable you be authentically you as you're creating a team of people you want yous you want all yous out there right because you're the people you're going to feel comfortable with you're going to feel like your best buds right out of the floodgates and you're just going to want to naturally be with them like you are basically the ceo of your own company and you are deciding what amazing team members are going to be a part of that so be yourself so that you in turn attract people that are just like that as well so for me i am a nurse i'm a mom i love tacos and wine you know i am naturally um you know want to help like the type one community so those are most of the messages that i share so therefore that's a lot of the people that are attracted to me and you can kind of pick some of your like five things that attract that make up you and share that um and those people will naturally follow so don't feel like you have to be any certain person just be you um Okay, when you do your picture, it needs to be clear, guys. You can't have this like grainy, like, you know, dark picture, like go into the sunlight, um, go outside. Um, if you need to, there are um, different um, lights that you can get on Amazon that can clip on your phone. You know, ideally take a picture during the daytime. You want an eye-catching picture that people look at and say, hmm, stop for a second. Let me see what they have to say versus, oh my gosh, I can hardly make out who this is and like, what does this picture even mean? So I often will say that first line of your post too might be something a little eye-catching, you know, something that kind of pulls people in a little bit. Um, but definitely a clear picture, please. <laughs> um, and um, you can find different apps and things like that for that. But there's no reason why you can't go outside and take a nice picture or do it during the daytime. Like right now I could go near my window and have a really bright, you know, at least I came in here. I moved from my dining room to here because it's brighter here so people can see me more. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. I think those are really some of the main things. And, and I always encourage people, when you've done your coming out post, share it in our group. Let us know so we can go and cheer you on. I, I typically share you know my same things in Facebook as I do in Instagram. So I just do both areas so I can cover two different territories. Um, and just remember, the people that are out there that are following you and that are your friends and family that are going to see this post... 99.99 are going to have nothing but praise and give you encouragement for doing something that makes you feel good about you or for you choosing to do this for whatever your reasons are. No one can fault you for how you feel. So if you are sharing how you feel about why you decided to coach and what these programs have done for you and, and why you've decided to take this plunge, they can't get mad at you for that. Being salesy and gimmicky and all those things, Eh, that kind of rubs people off the wrong way. But being you is never going to fault, you know, but no one's ever going to, um, you know, get mad at you for that. And you know what? If there are some negative Nellies kind of out there, they're always out there. And honestly, you probably just hit a chord with them that makes them almost jealous or makes them want to do it, but they're just scared to do it themselves. Um, so don't worry about whatever, whatever other people think, because this is your life. You make the decisions what works best for you and um, let all the negative people kind of get out. It's part of our personal development, guys. Bring in the happiness, bring in the positivity and let go of the negativity. So if you guys have any questions on this, please feel free to reach out to your coach or myself and we're happy to help you. But I would try to get to that coming out post within the next 24, 48 hours. And if you need any other help, just let us know. Bye guys.